not that early. It's like 9 o'clock. But um, I woke up at 5. And then I woke up at like 8.45. So I've literally been awake. I got ready in 5 minutes and left the house. And I've literally been awake for not so long. <laughs> um, because I went back to sleep. I couldn't. I was having contractions at like 5 o'clock this morning. And I couldn't sleep. Um, I was just hurting and I was not comfortable and so I went back to sleep and then I just woke up and threw my hair up. I had washed it when I was like I took a bath when I woke up at 5 to kind of like calm the contractions and I had washed my hair so when I got up I just threw it up in a bun and left the house and now it's trying to like curl around my face and pop up everywhere I don't care it doesn't matter I am gonna put a little bit of makeup on because my eyelashes are like sticky from the mascara last night being like rubbed off by the you know by the bath water and stuff you guys I'm really bad I don't take off I wash my face but I don't take off my eye makeup um but I didn't wear like eyeliner or anything last night I just wore mascara so Anyway, I'm babbling on. The point of it is, is I have like leftovers from yesterday, last night's mascara and nothing else. And so I'm going to put a little bit of makeup on just so I don't feel like my eyelashes are sticking together. But, oh my goodness, y'all. Okay, so I know that some of you watched my vlog from last night about me feeling so guilty about like Joshua buying me the camera and like all of that. Well, I am about to take the camera back, and he's not upset about it, so I feel okay about doing it. But we got home, and we kind of figured out, like, what we've bought the boys so far, because this is that was our second Christmas shopping trip. And so we kind of, like, divvied it up between the three boys and figured out, okay, because um, Alark's not born, so obviously he doesn't get Christmas presents, but we divided it all up from Jared and Tristan and Killian and we decided which ones like who needed more presents because we knew we weren't done we've just been having a lot of trouble like finding presents to buy them because there's no Toys R Us anymore and um there's just not a lot of toy places you know what I mean like there's just not anywhere to buy it <laughs> Like, there's, you know, Walmart and Target and all that. I've only had so many things that we really want to buy them. And we're not just going to buy them stuff that they won't love. Like, we've really been choosy um, of what we bring into the house because we're redoing their room. But at the same time, we want, them, we want them to have a pretty good Christmas. Like, we don't buy them things through the year so that we can overdo it for Christmas. We buy them one gift for their birthday is pretty small because we do the birthday party so that's really their birthday present um from us and then we do one small gift but we we kind of buy a lot for christmas and i know that that's controversial and that's fine um my kids are very very grateful for what they get and they are extremely good about being you know thankful and knowing what Christmas is all about I mean not killing him because he's just two but they're really good about being thankful for what they have and so as long as they're like that as long as they're grateful and thankful for you know what we what we give to them and they are not ugly about it and they don't like expect this and expect that then I don't mind spoiling them a little bit for Christmas because we don't do it any other time of the year and I'm at Starbucks in the drive-thru because I need mama needs a coffee but anyways um my ear is kind of hurting and I'm so stopped up I don't know if you can hear it in my voice but I feel it and it's awful the pressure is sucky <laughs> like it sucks I feel like stuffed to the brim with nastiness and my throat is hurting really bad. I've been chugging water, which is good for me anyway. But it's bad because you're supposed to drink so much water when you're pregnant anyway. And then having the sinus crap makes you dehydrated. So it's like, crap, what am I supposed to do? I can't, well, I mean, I need just an IV drip all the time. But anyways, um, you guys, so my mom and dad watched the boys while we shopped last night they spent the night with them and then today they're supposed to take them to this thing that called like marvel universe 
and it's really cool. It's like these people that dress up in like all of the superhero, com all the Marvel superhero costumes. And they like, you know, jump around and do tricks and have motorcycles and like all this stuff and a lot of lights and stuff like that. So they had them and then in the middle of the night, my mom wakes up with the stomach virus and she's been throwing up this whole entire time. And she's still doing it this morning. Oh my God. I hope like they cannot get sick with that mess. You know what I mean? Like that is awful. They cannot get sick with that garbage. We do not want that. Holy cow. Which my dad said she got it in the middle of the night. They both slept through the night because of course Trist Killian sleeps like an angel when he's at their house. He goes to sleep. My dad said he went to sleep at 9.30. You think I can get him to go to sleep at 9.30? No. No, ma'am. I cannot. And so he said he woke. He went to sleep at 9.30. And then he didn't wake up again until 8.30 this morning. So he's only been up for like an hour. And he said that they've been in the living room. My mom's been in her room. And like they haven't went in there or anything. They've She's been like quarantined. But my point is that she didn't have the germs just when she started getting sick. Like, she had the germs before then, and then it made her sick eventually. I don't know. I just hope to God they do not get it. I hope they do not get it. Lord, please, in the name of Jesus, protect my babies. Like, I cannot know. So, anyway, I'm freaking out about that, of course. Like, I'm flipping out about it. This person's probably like, what is she doing talking to herself in the car? Um, but I have crap in my cup holders, of course, that needs to be poured out. This car looks like garbage. Like, it looks like a rolling garbage bin. It is awful. It is embarrassing. I should be ashamed of myself. Well, I should be ashamed of ourselves because it's not just me. Like, Joshua and me and the kids and nobody cleans it up but me and we should all be ashamed of ourselves. Anyway, so he called me and was like, you can go if you want. He was like, I don't need you to. I can take them by myself, which is funny because my dad would never have taken up me and my siblings anywhere by himself. Like, he's just not that kind of a dad. You know what I mean? Like, he just was never like that. And so, he was like, I can totally take them by myself. It's not a big deal. He was like, Tristan's old enough. He's going to stick with me and I just have to you know, whole killing is fine. And, um, he was like, but I do have that extra ticket that I've already paid for. If you want to go, if you want to. And I was like, um, I really don't want to. <laughs> and it's just because like, just from walking, walking, walking last night, um, and trying to keep up with Joshua cause he was going so fast. I've, um, I woke up at five, like having bad contractions, you know? And I know I'm going to be walking around a little bit today, but I can walk at my own pace today. But it's that show is at like an amphitheater with tons of like stairs and all of that that you have to like walk up the stairs to get to your seat with those narrow little stairs. Like, I just don't want to be walking up and down the stairs. And he was like, no, no, you're right. That's probably a good idea. You don't need to be doing that. And Josh was like, no, you're not doing that. Like, no, because Joshua has this overwhelming bad feeling that Alaric is going to come early. Not like in a bad Alaric's not safe way, but in a he doesn't need to come early because we're not prepared way. And so he's like, anything that can set me off because, I mean, I really have been like cramping and hurting a little bit worrisome. Um, I did talk to my doctor about it at the doctor's appointment and, you know, they were just like, well, you just need to drink plenty of fluids and you need to make sure that, um, you know, if you start really bad cramping, then you let us know. Um, and it's not Braxton Hicks cramping. It's just cramping. Um, but I do know that my back is disgusted with me for doing this to it again. <laughs> And my other two children really did, like, really did a number on my back. Like, my back is just not, my back's not what it used to be when I was a spry young thing. I'm just kidding. I'm only 31. But, but my point is, is that, you know, 
kids are tough on your back, especially when you carry the way I carry. I'm just, I'm, I'm a smaller framed person who carries all belly. Um, when, funny thing. I know I just babble on and on with these things and I hope you guys don't mind. Maybe it just lets you know a little bit of who I am. Cause I just blah, 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 blah. But, um, it was funny because last night I kept getting in the floor and like forgetting that I can't really just get in the floor and just pop back up anymore because um, it strains my stomach muscles and so I have to like I'll be like I'm stuck again <laughs> and Josh will be like stop getting in the floor like I'll just be sprawled in the floor I was looking like way under the shelves at the bottom shelves and stuff and then I'll be like oh I think I'm kind of stuck and I'd have to like pull myself up on the shelf or whatever Anyways, and so he he was like, stop getting on the floor. And this guy was beside us and he was talking to his, like, the ladies that he was with or whatever. And I was like, I think I'm stuck again. And he was like, what? And I was like, oh, I was just telling him I'm stuck. And he was like, oh, I didn't know. I thought you were talking to me. Hold on just a second. Starbucks. This is Haley. What can I get started for you? <laughs> um, could I have a grande white chocolate mocha, please, and a lemon pound cake slice? Anything else? That's it. All right. 839. Thank you. Thank you. I love their lemon pound cake, too. It's like my favorite in the world. Okay. Where's my cord? Here it is. Okay. So, um, anyway. I was like, no, I was talking to my husband. I was telling him I've done gotten stuck again. Sometimes I forget that I can't, I can't just pop back up anymore. And he was like, oh. And he looked at me funny. He was like, oh. And then I stood up and he was like, oh. He was like, I didn't even realize you were pregnant. I would have helped you up. I was like, it's okay. He was like, I didn't know. You don't look pregnant from behind. <laughs> I was like, well, thank you. I appreciate that because I'm about to pop and, you know, four weeks from now. So, thanks a lot. Five weeks from now. Um, but, yeah, he was like, you don't you don't look pregnant from behind. I was like, thank you. And then Josh was like, you seriously don't. And I was like, whatever. And he took a video of me walking from behind. And he was like, see? And then I turn around it's like, whoop. <laughs> this huge belly poking out. It's funny. But, um. Anyways, I appreciate the fact that I don't look pregnant, but it is really, really tough on my back to only carry all belly. It's a blessing, and it definitely is a blessing afterwards when they're born because I lose the weight fast, you know? Like, three weeks, and I'm done. Like, I'm back to regular size. Two, three weeks. Um, it takes a little bit longer with each one, I think. So, like, two weeks with Tristan, I was smaller than I was before I got pregnant. And then with Killian, it was, like, three weeks. I was the same size. Hi, how are I, you? Good, how are you? Good, your toes 839. Would you like your seat? Uh, no, that's okay. Hold on. Thank oh, you. let me get you your pancake. Oh, yes. Thank you. I would have forgot. We'll have it right out for you. Okay. Do you have any exciting plans for the weekend? No. Do you have any plans for the best, though? We're just trying to get Christmas shopping done. You did? <laughs> no, oh. not yet. <laughs> oh, you're trying to? Yes. I don't want to go. Everything. Maybe I'll try to get it. It is online. crazy. It's yeah. busy out there, I yeah. It, I don't know. I guess it depends on where you order it. And I guess I do have time, so we might just only find gifts online. Hey, I wish I could have done that. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> I don't know if you heard like her end of the conversation, but it was really awkward because at first I didn't know she was talking to me. Cause she just she was just trying to talk while you know, so I wouldn't be just sitting there. It was really nice of her, but I just didn't know she was talking to me at first, and I was like, oh. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I don't even know what I was saying. Probably babbling on about something 
ridiculously random but the point is is that I really hope that they don't get anything I'm super excited so I haven't even talked about this but I'm super excited today because I get to go shopping and I'm going shopping for myself and my husband's forcing me to and so I'm going to go here I'm going to take this back to Costco then I'm going to hopefully not sniffle my little nose apart because it's really stuffed and bad and then after I take this back which he was like I hope they don't give you pro they're not gonna give me problems it's fine he's so weird about taking stuff back um after I take this back I'm going to um just race on by go ahead by all means um after I take this back oh I'm going to go to TJ Maxx because I want to look for some new shoes and I desperately need some new shoes. Oh man, I could have parked over there. And I desperately need a new purse, you guys. I've been carrying the same broken down crappy handbags forever. I have not bought a new purse in probably like two years. I'm not kidding you. And I don't buy expensive purses because if you have ever seen my what's in my... <laughs> mom purse slash trash bag video that I did like a long time ago you should definitely watch it because that's how my purse ends up every time no joke like I'm just real you guys and someone actually just started watching my channel and commented on that video and was like I couldn't even finish this video it's so disgusting I can't believe you posted this and I was like hey I'm the real deal girlfriend I am legit if you don't like it I'm so sorry I really am sorry I apologize but I'm not fake this is really my life and if you don't like it I'm so sorry but my purse is really gross and I think it's hilarious because I see all these other mom what's in my bag video and it's all this glamorous stuff and it's clean and beautiful and then mine looks like a flipping trash bag and then my car looks like a crazy mess I should do what my car looks like no I would never do that <laughs> I need to clean it out but anyway I'm gonna chow down on my breakfast I don't know if I'll put makeup on or not I just need to get rid of this like smeared stickiness from the bottom of my eyes and then but this camera does like show how blue they are it's really nuts like I don't realize how blue my eyes are but in this camera they're just like bang and so I don't know I kind of like that yeah I have like really blue eyes so do my boys but um and Joshua's eyes are freaking beautiful too they're green so who knows what this one will have Jaren has green eyes they have blue eyes we'll see what Alaric has I want him to have blue but anyways <laughs> I'm gonna eat my breakfast really quick and I'm gonna check in with you guys in a little bit okay you guys so I am back from my little shopping trip and it was so much fun. I had such a good time. The boys are here with me now. My dad has dropped them off with me. They had a good time. I have some chicken nuggets over there that I need to eat. <laughs> but I wanted to show you really quickly what I got. So when we were out talking to Santa, I know you guys have probably seen these. They've been on Instagram a lot for a long time. But Walmart had these for $10 for this huge box of stuff and it comes with stickers and stamps and markers and all kinds of chipboard pieces and a planner and all this washi like it is ridiculous for 10 bucks so Josh was like you're stupid if you don't get that like he made me get it and then the Walmart that we went to was a Walmart we we never go to and they had the washies um at that one my Walmart doesn't have the washi that everybody finds it doesn't have the craft stuff everybody finds like it never has any of the good stuff but this Walmart did and so I grabbed this one here and this is Dear Lizzie and it's like the Stargazer collection it goes with like the Stargazer paper pad it is so stinking cute so I was so happy to find that and then this one is called Creekside One Canoe Two I don't know but it's really cute and it has some really cute washies in there. See how pretty those are. So I got those. Those are like $5 a piece and this was 10. So I got that last night while I was with Joshua. Okay, so today I took my camera back 
I didn't take the tripod back yet, but I'm going to do that. But I took the camera back. I went to Tuesday morning and I spent $64. And I'm not going to show you what I got there because I'm going to show you that in a haul video. But I did get myself some clothes. And I'm just going to show you this because this is from a couple of different stores. And I'm really happy with what I found. So all in all, I spent about $340 on myself. Um... Yeah, and I'm not used to that. And like I said, I spent 64 here, and the rest of it was just the clothes and then this purse. Um, so I got this purse. I don't like expensive purses for myself because, like I was saying before, if you saw my What's in My Mom bag video, it's just going to get trashed. But this one I love because it has the three compartments. So I'm going to have to get – it doesn't have, like, any inside pockets. It just has the three compartments. So I'm going to have to get, like, a little – a couple little bags to put in here. But I already have tons of those from the Dollar Tree that I can stick in my purse. But this is so cute. I love the way it feels. I love the handles and the strap. And I got this from TJ Maxx for $34 so I was like um yeah I won't pay more than that for a purse I did get the pants that I'm wearing right now they're just gray pants with the cuff at the bottom they're really comfortable they're Reebok and they have a pocket so they're super cute I really like them and I got this hoodie that I have on too and I'm not going to be able to really show you you can see that belly but this hoodie you guys is so comfortable the sleeves are distressed and it's just a v-neck hoodie, but I love it because it's really long. See, like this is like a normal length, and then it has that extra, and the inside is so soft. So it feels like butter, and I love it. And I'm out of breath. I was really uncomfortable in the clothes that I was wearing because I kept having Braxton Hicks contractions while I was shopping. And I was like, I have to change into these comfy clothes. <laughs> So yeah, and I also bought these because my shoes were hurting my feet. So I got these at Target. I went to Target. I went to TJ Maxx first, got the purse, and I got a couple of clothing items that I will show you. And then I went to Target and got these shoes. So I got these little tinnies. They're really cute. I like how thick the sole is because it makes them look a little bit more expensive than just the really thin sole, you know? Um, and these were only $16.99, so these were a really good price. It's this brand that I've never heard of before. It's called, what is it called? A New Day. And so this is like ridged on the inside, but they were really, really comfortable. So I really liked those. And then I got these heels. And they were $24.99, and I love them. I like the shape of them. I like the shape of this, like where it hits my toes. It doesn't show toe crack, which I hate. Yes, it's a real thing, toe crack, and it sucks. And that's, I don't like that on my foot. I don't mind it on other people, but I don't like it on mine. And the heel is perfect because it is you know, a decent sized heel. It's not tiny, but it's comfortable enough for me. And since it's a wedge, I can walk in it while I am eight months pregnant. So yes, ma'am. I like those. And that's a new day as well. They have started doing this whole like department store look to Target and it's really chic and pretty, but their shoe department was like in the middle of the store. It was so strange. Okay, I also went to TJ Maxx and Walmart, and that is where I got all my clothes. I got my clothes from TJ Maxx and Walmart, okay? I love Walmart clothes, so don't knock them if you, until you try them. There is a bunch of YouTubers who are, like, really sophisticated YouTubers, way more sophisticated than myself, who do, like, all kind of dupes for Walmart and Walmart haul videos for fashion and stuff you can find at Walmart that you really just don't expect. And I'm sorry I keep sticking my finger my fat fingers in the way. Okay, so at TJ Maxx, I got two sports bras for $14.99. Um, when you're pregnant, I don't have to tell you, your boobs get bigger, and mine are no exception. I still have, I still don't have big boobs, but I needed some sports bras because all of my bras with the wire in them are so stinking uncomfortable. And this came in a two pack for $14.99. So that was great to get these for $7 a piece. Um, yes, please. So I got these and they're padded on the inside. So they're not going to like, I'm not going to be uncomfortable and I'm not going to feel like my nips are showing. You know what I'm talking about, ladies. Don't pretend you don't. I'm not going to pretend like if it's cold, I need to 
put on a jacket because there's some padding in there. So that's good. Um, I'm kind of going at random because I don't think I put these in order. I got this as well. This is actually, I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually long. It's like a tunic that you can wear as like a dress with leggings underneath and it was $16.99 and it's really really soft it's yes lola um that's the brand and i got all things that are a little bit made a little bit bigger so i can wear them with the belly but they're still my size like this is a small so i'll still be able to wear this after the baby comes because that's really important to me because with five weeks left I'm not going to waste money on things that I can't wear after he's born. I also got this. Um, this is just a little gray sweater. It's pink rose. TJ Maxx carries a lot of this brand. I love this brand. Like I have a lot of stuff in this brand because I love it so much and it's this was only $14.99. It's just like an open sweater and it's really long and at the bottom it has pockets on each side. I'm a sucker for these kind of sweaters. I actually almost picked up, and this is not an extra large obviously, but I almost picked up like two different kinds of these kinds of sweaters from Walmart when I went to Walmart and I was like, Ashley, you need to stop it. Like, just put it back. Okay, I did pick up this and I think I think that's it from TJ Maxx. I think the rest of it is from Walmart. So from Walmart, I picked up, well, these were from TJ Maxx. So this sweatshirt was $16.99, and then these pants were $20. They were $19.99, but so flipping worth it because it feels like I have butter on my arms. Like, it's so soft. I love this. I'm a sucker for hoodies in the winter, you guys. I love them on other people, and I love them for myself. So... <clears throat> Let's just get a little personal. My underwear are all getting too small and they're cutting into me and I'm dying because I really love like the string bikinis or I love boy briefs too. I really love brief underwear. Um, they're just really comfortable. But my briefs are like the only ones that are comfortable. The rest of them, anything with elastic, anything with a string, anything at all. Mediums are too big for me, like around. But the smalls are too small and they're cutting into me. And it's just because my hips are getting wider because of the baby. And so, and my stomach, like the very bottom of my stomach is getting bigger because the child is in there. And so I got these briefs because I thought they would be like really comfortable. They feel really soft. And so I thought these would be super comfortable. I mean, they're cute. They look cute on me. I'm not going to say they're like sexy or anything, but you know what? At eight months pregnant, comfort is really key when it comes to panties. I mean, let's just be honest. So I did get those. I got two pair of leggings. These were only $3.88 and I love Walmart leggings. Walmart leggings have lasted me longer than any other leggings I've ever bought. I don't buy like LuLaRue leggings or LuLaRoe or whatever it's called or those expensive leggings. So don't get me wrong, I've never tried those. But anywhere I've, anytime I've went to like just a boutique store or like Forever 21 or like a department store leggings, I always get flipping holes in them. But Walmart leggings are so cheap and they seem to last me the longest. So I got, and they're ankle ones, which I love because the last ones I got from Walmart, I couldn't find ankle and they come to like my mid calf and I needed longer ones. Longer ones look dressier to me. But anyway, I got these leggings. So these are just my size, a small, and then I got a gray pair as well. So I got a black pair and a gray pair. I desperately needed leggings so bad. Um, these were in the pajama section. I've been eyeing them for quite some time because they are so flipping soft and I love them and they're a little bit baggier because they're pajamas but they'll still be super cute and then after I have the baby um I can wear them with like some really skinny jeans and even though it's slouchy you know that boyfriend look is always in anyways and these were I think they were $9.98 $9.98 this is so cute it says I need a coffee and a donut and that is how I feel most days. I don't love donuts, but pregnant, I get an, a hankering for Dunkin' Donuts quite often. I also got these. I really wish I would have gotten them in like every color because they are so 
soft and they had hoodies to match these but all they had in the hoodies was extra extra large and then in these they had all the sizes so I have no idea I guess people just bought out the hoodies and didn't buy the pants but girl I bought the pants and I like them because they're cuffed at the bottom and I got a small and they look a little bit big to be honest these that I have on are small from Reebok and they are a little big so I don't know. But anyway, these were $12.96 and they are worth every stinking penny because they are so soft. The inside pocket is just like this hoodie. It's like butter. The inside legs are as well so they'll be nice and warm. And this is going to be nice for tummy baby. Baby tummy. It's going to be nice. And I can even take these to like the hospital when I go so that I can be comfortable because nobody wants to wear that stupid hospital gown. So no thank you. Um, this is, these are some pants that I've been eyeing for a while. I love this brand from Walmart. I love their sports bras. I love their I like hoodies and their t-shirts. I love this brand. It's really affordable and it's really good quality. I have a couple of things from here. So it has the nice little pocket where you can put like your iPhone or your phone when you're working out. But let's face it, I'm not going to be working out anytime soon. I just got these just so I could have some comfy pants that didn't look like I was, you know, a crazy, insane person who wears pajamas out in public. I'm sorry if you wear pajamas in public, but no girl, no. And so I got these. These are $14.96 and I just liked them a lot. I love the navy color. I love how it has different shades of navy and then the gray all the way down into this design at the bottom. I love this. And so I got these and these are full length pants. All the athletic wear I have is all like half length. And so no girl, I need some pants. I also got this from the pajama section, and this was um, $9.98 as well, and it, it just says, baby, it's cold outside, and it's like stitched in, and it's so soft again, same thing, very, very soft, I love the sizing of it. Um, even though it's a small, it's just a little bit bigger. And so I absolutely love this and I can wear this on into the winter. And like I said, even after he's born while it's cold, I can still wear it. Okay. This is athletic works brand and it was $14.96, but I really loved this. It's a hoodie and I love the little drawstring. It has the hood, but then it has like the slouch neck and it's just a little bit longer than like most hoods hoodies so it can fit over my belly that's the problem like my belly just pushes everything out and I can't get a bigger size because it'll be too big like up under the arms and on my sides and my back it'll be like pooling up but a small is just too short so there's really no winning and then I got this and my sister bought this and I was so jealous because I've been eyeing it forever it is so stinking soft it is ridiculously soft and it just looks like this if you haven't been to Walmart and seen these they have them in like maroon and navy and some other color that I forget I think like a black I don't know. no maybe not a black I don't know there's another color but I forget what it is and it's just this like open, um, open front fuzzy like sweater. I don't know. It's freaking adorable. And it's in that same like pajama line secret treasure sleepwear. I don't know how you're going to sleep in this sweater. That's pretty ridiculous. But it was only $12.88. Oh my goodness. This says Sherpa sleep bed jacket. Not going to wear this to bed. I'm totally wearing this. Imagine if Joshua rolled over and I was wearing this in bed. That is hilarious. Um, <laughs> I am going to wear it as just like a little over sweater. My sister wore it with like some really cute skinny jeans and heels. And it was really adorable. So it also has pockets. It's just perfect. I love it so much. I honestly want to wear active wear and this Sherpa sweater to church tomorrow. <laughs> with my tennis shoes on stage singing worship songs because it's so comfy and I'm so uncomfortable but I'm not I am however why silly boy what you doing I am probably gonna wear this little dress and he's attacking me so the camera might shake so I'm sorry um yeah it's gone all those are gone baby daddy left his uh coke cans on the table okay so 
I'm probably gonna wear this tomorrow, honestly. I'll try to remember to take a picture and show you how just how cute it is, but you can find such affordable clothing, you guys. You don't have to spend an arm and a leg. I got all of that for like $280 with shoes and underwear and purses and all kinds of different stuff. That's a pretty good deal if you ask me. Yeah, you can drink that. That's your, yeah. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Well, let me turn you around first. So, now you can see, like, the rest of my hoodie. But I think I'm going to end the vlog here just because it's so long. I, like, <laughs> this morning I blabbed on and on and on and on. It's afternoon now. You can see, like, I still didn't fix my smeary makeup. <sighs> I left it alone, girl. I got messy hair, don't care. Messy face, don't care. I'm still sniffling. Like, my eyes are a little bit puffy and swollen from, like, sniffling and having allergies. I feel like my nose is, like, rude off because it's so raw and sore. So, I really didn't want makeup today. But I had a blast. I'm very blessed that my hubby let me do that. Um... And I just had so much fun. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas. Not just for me, but all the YouTubers that are doing it. It's a lot of work. And I know a lot of them like are working really hard. Especially ones with like full-time jobs. And m ones with multiple, multiple children. And all of these things. They're still sacrificing to give us some quality videos. S and just talk to us every day, you know. And that's what I'm trying to do with you guys as well. So I hope that you're enjoying this and I'm going to let you guys go and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 16. So happy Vlogmas Day 15 and I hope that you guys have a great day and you're having some happy holidays. Bye guys.